Hello automators and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to show you how you can send a nice happy birthday message to members of your team um, using Power Automate. Now I'm going to start off with a very simple version of this flow and then show you how you can improve it to make it more efficient. So we're going to start with this SharePoint list here which has just got uh, the names of some people, their dates of birth and some other details. Um, so I am going to create a scheduled cloud flow. And we're going to run it every day at 10 a.m. and we're going to repeat once a day. So the first thing I'm going to do is a very simple get items query. And I'm going to get everything from that list. Uh, employees and then go into another step I'm going to do an apply to each and it's going to be the value of the, the list of items from get items and then I'm going to do a condition in fact I'm just going to have a quick look at the output of that so I'm just going to put in the compose here and then I'm going to use the expression item Now, just this amount will be enough to show you why this is an inefficient flow. And on this list with only three items, it will work fine, but <clears throat> it will be enough to illustrate the problem. So inside of each item, this apply to this apply to each is run three times, one for every entry in that list. And there we've got our date of birth. So I am going to add a, I'm going to do, in fact I'm just going to copy this, I'm going to stick it into notepad just so that I've got a record of it, makes it a bit easier to work with. So I'm going to do, change this item, I'm going to put item DOB. I'm going to rename this and call it DOB. And then I'm going to add another action, a compose. I'm going to call it today. I'm going to say format date time. Don't know why that isn't auto completing for me. Doesn't matter. UTC now, and then this uh, y, 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 M, M, capital M's for the months, lowercase d, d. There we are. So I'm just going to run that and see the outputs of those two values. So DOB comes out to that, and today comes out to that. So you can see 1978-0404 is the birthday. So neither of those two things match. So we just want the month and the date. So I'm going to come to here, and I'm going to do format date time, item DOB, and we'll go mm-dd. I'm going to change this one to lose the year. Because to match the birthdays, we don't want the year value in there. So let's have a look at our values now. So these two would now match. and the other ones wouldn't. So now I can go ahead and add a condition. And I will say if today is equal to DOB, then send an email. 
and it's going to be two. And I've actually got, I can just choose the person email from get items. I'm going to put this into code view. And I'm going to go to my HTML here, copy this, paste it in here. And here I've got, it says happy birthday, Paul. I'm going to take that out and put in the item name there. So that should probably work now. Now pay attention to this get items warning that's coming up. It's complaining that get items um, doesn't have any filter on it. Okay. Okay. What do you want to do? All right, I'll set it up for you. So I'm just going to press test and then we'll see if we get an email. Yeah, the display is not plugged in. I'll plug it in for you. Okay, so of our conditions, one met the condition and the other two didn't. So that would have sent me an email now. And here it is. Happy birthday, Paulie. Hope you're having a great day. Now, I'm just going to set this computer up for this boy, and then I'll show you an even better way to do it. All right, so although this flow works okay, it um, would be a terrible flow to use if this list had a thousand items, for example, because it would go through and run this condition and go in this supply to each for every employee. Now, Something we could do to make that better is add a filter array here. And that would filter the output of get items um, to just bring us only those people whose birthday is today. But that still isn't particularly efficient. If this um, list had maybe 15,000 items in it, they wouldn't all come back. You only get 5,000 items maximum from get items. So what we really want to do is filter this at the point of get items. Um, and unfortunately, at first glance, it seems like it isn't possible. So what I'm going to do to make this more efficient is add a new action. And I'm going to do send a HTTP request to SharePoint. I'm going to pick my site again. And then all of the logic is going to be inside of this. And I will explain it here. So this is um, this list data.svc does support these OData uh, month and day queries. So in this first part, let's go through it piece by piece. I'm doing dollar $select name, comma, person, because they're the only two fields that I'm interested in. And then I need to do a dollar $expand on the person field to get their details out, email address and such. And then I can filter it with this dollar $filter um, query string. And I can do month dob equals, and I've got an expression here, which is format date time UTC now MM and then wrapped in an int to make it into a number and day DOB equals int format date time DD. So this is going to make sure that we only get back information from SharePoint that matches our query. So even if this list had 25,000 entries in it, we would only get back the ones that have the relevant data. So what I'm going to do is add a terminate action here because the output of it is a bit different. I just want to see that first. So because there is only one person that matches in here, we should get only one result back. Let's just copy that and put it into here. 
So our results array is here um, underneath D. So it's D results. And then we have got the result there. So we should then be able to go get rid of this terminate action, get rid of this get items action. And then our apply to each input is gone. results. Mm. What I could do to make this slightly simpler because we're going to lose our ability to select things dynamically is I'm going to put that expression into here. I'm going to add a terminate action here. Just to make it a little bit easier to use, I'm going to rename this as well. Results. And this should be only our array, this results. And it is. So what I'm going to do is copy this output. And then I'm going to add a pass JSON step. We don't absolutely need this, but just makes things a little bit simpler. So now we can go into our apply to each and we will use the output of parse JSON. Well, wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. Hmm, that's what I wanted, body. So we don't need this date of birth anymore. We don't need this today. Condition, we can move this, get rid of this condition and put send an email up here. We're just going to add an action quickly. All right, so we don't need that condition anymore. So That isn't there anymore. We want work email. We want their name. And then we need to come down here, get rid of that name there, and put in the name there. And I am going to change this parse JSON. And I'm going to use the content as this expression. I'm going to go to this results. So that's nice and clean now. So we've got a HTTP request, a parse JSON, and then our apply to each. So let's just give that a quick test. Yeah. Um, it says I'm not connected to the internet. Oh yeah, the network cable is unplugged. I'll plug it in for you. Right, before we go any further, let's make sure that email turned up, and it did, and it's customized to us. So that is pretty good, and it's a nice use of the HTTP action, just to make sure we get only those values that we're interested in. Let's just get that on the screen. So I've got that on the screen now, let's just have a look at it so you can see it a bit better. This would all be on one line normally. There we go. So using this, you can make those flows like this flow, this happy birthday flow, a lot more efficient by just making sure you get back the rows that you're interested in retrieving. So um, I am going to, if you want to use the HTML that I used, I just used a template from the web, but I will copy this and put it on to paste bin and put the um, code on there and I'll link in the description so you can copy it. Um, and that's all there is to it really.
Um, the email address came from, you can see it on here, but if I show you here, um, show or hide columns, there is a person column here, which is a people picker, and they're currently all set to me. This is quite a simple flow to build once you get the hang of that HTTP action. And you can use that HTTP action in lots of different um, kinds of flows, which are doing date filtering. So best of luck to you. Let me know how you get on. Cheers. Bye-bye.